Gonna show you what I know. Break it free from the mainstream, the studio machine. I want it my way. Indie film nation. I want it my way. Indie film nation. Going all the way. Indie film nation. You know it's gotta be. Sue Lawson here for Indie Film Nation. I'm at Sundance with Glenn Porter, who is the writer for the movie I Melt With You, which just got picked up by Magnolia Pictures. That's correct. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Sue. Um, tell me, first of all, I'm, I'm going to ask just a little bit about the film, and then I want to ask you more about your writing process. Uh, the film is about four guys. It's very, it's a dark film, and it's a very intense film, directed by Mark Pellington. It's um, music-driven, great actors, uh, Christian Mackay um, and Jeremy Piven, Thomas Jane, and Rob Lowe all give great performances. The, the stories uh, about these four friends that have known each other for over 25 years, and they make a pact, and it's very dark and they meet and the movie begins and the pact is brought out that they made when they were much younger and uh, and it goes on from there and it's a very intense movie and it's uh, you know it's probably not for everybody but it's we we hope it'll resonate deeply with a, a lot of people and Magnolia is fantastic and they'll know exactly what to do with it and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people out there that are very passionate about it. Well, obviously you were when you wrote it, so that's a fabulous thing. What was your writing process like when it came to this, or for this particular film? Because you come from a, an advertising background, correct? That's correct. My writing process is all just about discipline. It's about sitting down and writing and, uh, you know, spending the time and doing the doing whatever research is necessary, but at least five pages a day is what I write. And, but I probably write, you know, three times that to get five good ones and it takes time and then I rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and and that sort of thing I don't you know I don't know if I differ from anyone else but it's about putting your ass in the chair and getting off the internet and writing <laughs> that's the main thing that's the main that's thing it. right there that's it well what gave you the idea to begin with where do your ideas mm. come from my ideas come from different places uh, it could be anything that's uh, going on in my life this was this is more personal this is about like you know, uh, my own experiences as a man and turning 40 and sort of being able to, you know, look back at my life and mistakes and things like that and uh, looking at the culture and friends of mine that were going through similar things and, and sort of processing it through my own lens of, you know, music and a particular despair but not no I it wasn't that I was living in despair or something like that I don't mean to be melodramatic but it was after going through like a little difficult personal time and uh, and coming out with this idea which is you know how I like to do things is process things from from life now how did it come to the attention of the director Mark is an old friend of mine and I sent it to him not thinking that he would ever want to direct it because it's so extraordinarily dark and uh, and he loved it and then we did a little work on it and then it got out to the actors and the actors responded to it and we quickly put it together and shot it very quickly uh, last summer. And no. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, has it changed or how much has it changed since your original script? It's not changed drastically. There wasn't a lot of improv. Um, you know, it's, you, we had to make concessions because we were on limited time. Uh, you know, we had time constraints and we had... Uh, you know, budget constraints, but I mean, what's on the page Mark captured, we had actually too much, you know, and we, uh, we had to cut a lot of stuff that was on the page that you didn't need to tell the story. And the story's so dark anyway, that, you know, I think a little goes a long way, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just great. It's great to be at Sundance and, you know, it's so, so nice and, and, you know, it's awesome. It's great. Well, that, this is not your first film festival. Though. I was in the f awesome film festival a few years back for a script, but this is the first film I've had in a festival. 
pretty exciting. Totally. totally exciting. Now, they say a writer's always writing. I know you have several other projects that you're working on. How do you balance those? I just, um, I'm a worker. I spend a lot of time writing. I'm going to say that's your advertising background. Yeah, yeah, you have to work a lot in advertising. You have to work anywhere in this day and age, I think, very hard to get ahead. Well, if you want to succeed, which you have, and being pressed for time, I know that I promised I was not going to keep you more than a few minutes. Again, Sue Lawson for Indie Film Nation. I'm here with Glenn Porter. The film is I Melt With You, which has just been picked up by Magnolia, which is fabulous. So, hey, we'll be able to see it sometime soon, which is great. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Okay. Anyway, this rich guy, Greenberg, moves into town. He's building this ugly 25,000 foot mansion right on the ocean in front of my mom's house. Like this. She's tried to stop him legally, but he just crushes her with his money. They're dead. They're buried in the sand. The backyard. The body fights. In spite of what the brain wants. Stop on the way. True nirvana only happens when you die. You can't have the past back. No. No. And they reminded me of the past.